Hello Poké Investor and today we're going to be talking about the rise and burn of Hidden Fates. My name is Hap from MiniPokemon.com, the only place where you can learn, buy, collect and invest in Pokemon products. In today's episode, as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about Hidden Fates why it actually went up in price and then crashed and burned as predicted. And I don't want to tell you I told you so, but I actually told you so. I'm sorry! Now everything's alright. Uh, Hidden Fates is still going downwards in prices. I've seen uh, prices still consistently going down until there will be a point that they will actually settle. It's still fluctuating a lot, but the more, more product that actually hits the market, the more fluctuation I will see until we finally find that stable point where it's the right time to actually buy a product. And the best example to, that I can put on is the shiny Charizard, that, that, that crazy card that everyone is looking for. It has fluctuated so much in price in the past couple of weeks that it's hard to pinpoint an actual number. A lot of people in several groups and forums and social media outlets are asking what kind of price point they can put to that Charizard because the prices fluctuate so much that it's very hard to pinpoint. So if you're a flipper, I will probably suggest that you put that price point where you feel comfortable with. Usually a card of the rarity of a shiny Charizard or like the Reshiram and Charizard GX that came out in the past or the, chi or the hyper rare Charizard that came out in uh, Burning Shadows, usually the price point can go up to 700 in the first couple of weeks that the set is released. After that, it just goes downwards until you reach that level of $200, 250 um, so, I don't know what kind of price you want to take, but the best bet in this kind of market that is fluctuating so much, if you're caring about converting uh, that Charizard into quick buck, is to actually just look at eBay, see what people have been offering lately, and just put that price point. If you don't care about flipping, which this channel is not focused about flipping, it's more about the investment, I suggest that you just stay away from actually investing in Hidden Fates at this point unless you're investing in sealed product and that sealed product is at the minimum suggested retail price. If you're overpaying for Hidden Fates, it's going to take longer for you to actually re have that return of investment because the grow is not going to be that fast. Usually sealed product takes a little longer to start growing up in value. You need to wait at least five to six years in order to start seeing some returns. And now the reason why I'm saying keep it sealed at minimum suggested retail price is that if you actually pay double for a tin, for example, they should be $20 and you're paying uh, 40, then that grow is going to be even slower for you. So you're talking about probably need to wait more than six years to return your investment. Um, <coughs> in, in my case, I believe that in five to six years, the price on Hidden Fates teens at least will double from $20 to $40. We will see probably that spike or even, or even higher. Now, here's a disclaimer. This is a very speculative market. I'm speculating right now. I'm not saying that's going to happen. Based on my experience, the numbers that I've seen in different products, I'm expecting that in the five to six years mark, probably those teens you will be able to to sell them for around $40, doubling your investment, which is not bad. You have a 100% return of investment, but you still need to wait five to six years. So that's why I recommend buying sealed products. Now, this is just for entertainment purposes, of course. I'm not a financial advisor, so you should not listen to a person that actually has a Pokemon t-shirt and it's talking about Pokemon cards for financial advice. But I'd just like to speculate that in the past couple of years, uh, what I've seen is that actually the growth of Pokemon products after five to six years, uh, you can double or a little bit less than double depending on the product itself. So seal product is good and I'll be recording a video talking about sealed product against cards themselves in, a f in, in the future. Now, when we talk about graded cards, the graded cards field right now on shiny Pokemon, it's very fluctuative <laughs> as well. I would suggest to also stay aware from uh, graded cards. Let's put a, the, the major example that's going out there right now is the 
shiny Charizard. Uh, that card started strong with $10,100 of someone that actually bought that card in the days after. You could see uh, more BGS 10 black label populating the market space and uh, those prices now are bottoming down. So as I, I, I predicted, that card crashed hard and I don't expect it to go up in the near future. More Charizards are coming. If you're a Charizard collector, make sure to wait it out. You will get there. And the quality of the cards are very good. So having high grades, it's going to be easier. Uh, and that's the problem with modern product. Well, not the problem, but that's the concern with modern product is that more and more high grades are going to get there. The more cards that are graded, the less valuable they can get. And that's the biggest concerns when you have a card that it's a chasing card. In this case, that shiny Charizard, a lot of people are going to keep grading it. And this kind of a speculation, if history can show us some uh, retrospective out of it, it has happened before. Let's take, for example, Evolutions. Evolution set was released in 2016, and right now, at, this, at the recording of this video in September of 2019, three years later, more than 23,000 cards on the Evolution set has been actually being graded. Evolutions have the Mega Charizard EX, which is basically one of the most graded modern cards in history. So if we look at the population report, the Mega Charizard EX, which a lot of people speculated that it was going to be very rare and that it was going to be very valuable, up to today it has been uh, graded 1,257 times with 829 examples being PSA 10. That's an insane amount of numbers. So when you have that kind of numbers, it's very hard to actually raise the price of an asset because there's a, a lot of product out there and you can still find a lot of evolutions product out there and that's the biggest concern when investing in modern products so keep in mind all of that it's very important modern product is massively produced the reason why we can see and expect a rise in prices is because there's a scarcity supply and demand. If there's a lot of demand and supply is equal, the prices will just stay as it is. When demand is high and supply is low, the prices will start creeping up. Uh, that Mega Charizard from Evolutions, it has 829 examples PSA 10. Similarly, another example, the Red's Pikachu. Red's Pikachu was a promo card that was released as well back in 2016. It was a card that was overhyped. A lot of people thought it was limited. There's a lot of examples, PSA 10 out there. So it hasn't increased in price at all. It still remains the same. But going back to Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates is it's having a similar effect. That's why I'm very concerned about investing in cards themselves. And that's why my recommendation is on Seal Product because Seal Product has that kind of uh, unknown factor of what will I get in those packs that increases the prices over time. And to be honest, Hidden Fates uh, sealed product looks pretty cool. Those pin boxes, the tin boxes, and the upcoming releases are appealing to the eye products that in the future probably will people will like to invest on. I would love to hear from you. What do you think about Hidden Fates? What are your concerns about Hidden Fates? And if you have any question, please make sure to put them in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to actually like this video, hit the subscribe and notification bell, and until next time, remember, gotta collect them all.